Hello everyone, this is G and I'm back with another video. So believe it or not, I'm actually happy about something. I actually just saw some news on Twitter that for once in life did not upset me. It actually made me most happy. Now you may wonder why I have Street Fighter V uh, sort of highlighted here, and I'll explain why. Because although, well, I should put it like, like this. This is really about six, six, Street Fighter VI, but I don't have that yet. So I'm focusing on Street Fighter V <laughs> as sort of the placeholder. But uh, apparently Street Fighter V is coming out with a Season 2... No, not 5, sorry. Street Fighter VI is coming out with this uh, Season Pass. They do these Season Passes now. In general, I'm not a big fan of, you know, the Season Pass things. I often find, find them to be a cash grab, but... This is one where I actually am quite pleased at what I heard. So, as part of this um, Season 2 pass for Street Fighter VI, they are releasing or including in the pass four characters. M. Bison, Street Fighter Classic, right? This goes all the way back to Street Fighter II, which is uh, my favorite video game ever. And Elena, who debuted in Street Fighter III, which is a solid game, if not my favorite. But they're also including two fighters from the King of Fighters series. And this is a big deal because, especially in Japan, I think, those two series kind of like faced off with each other. They had their, their, their sort of like height of popularity both in like the mid-1990s. They had anime and, and it was just crazy. But um, the two characters who are going to be included from SNK, from the King of Fighters, is my Shiranui, which makes sense, I mean... Chun-Li is like the female mascot for Street Fighter, and Mai is the female mascot for uh, any SNK game, really, but especially King of Fighters or Fatal Fury. But um, and then they're going to have Terry Bogart. So Terry's kind of like the like SNK's company equivalent of Ken from Street Fighter. So as someone who grew up playing both series, I have many more Street Fighter games than uh, SNK games, but... I do have the SNK Anniversary Collection, so as anybody who's followed me for a long time knows I am about that life. I also have, somewhere down here, here we go, the Street Fighter Collection. This is the 30th Anniversary Collection. Like I said, I am about that life. For those who are sort of newer to my content on my channel, uh, I am a old school gamer, I am a fighting game enthusiast in particular of the stuff I grew up on in the early and mid-1990s. So basically, if it's in a compilation and I played it, I'll probably get it again at some point, as we can see here with the Sega Genesis classics. I am a mark for my own past. But anyway, I was really happy to hear that this this was happening, this, this crossover, which is surprising because for me, I'm not a big fan of crossovers. Crossovers in video games and fighting games have been around for a long time. You could look back to, like, uh, Mar Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, Street Fighter vs. Uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, um, SNK, interestingly enough, SNK vs. Or rather, it was called uh, Capcom vs. SNK, Mark of the Millennium 2001, which is actually, of the crossovers, my favorite crossover fighting game, the only one I've really enjoyed. But, you know, and, and there's been, like, guest fighters going back to, like, Soul Calibur 2. And, you know, you've had, like, Geese Howard, who's also part of, of the Fatal Fury games in SNK. And uh, King of Fighting in tech games. And you've had Akuma in Tekken. So, these, 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 these sort of, like, you know, Japanese 1990s crossover fighting games isn't a new thing. I think they even had Street Fighter and, and SNK in, like... Uh, Super Smash Brothers a year, a few years back, so it's not new by any means. I'm probably going on since the 90s, but I've never been generally a big fan of it. But in this case, I got to make an exception. I'm quite happy to hear that Street Fighter VI is going to be including uh, basically the poster boy and the poster woman of uh, SNK, in particular of the King of Fighters franchise. So that might be something. I mean, I, I've been delaying in getting Street Fighter VI in part because I just need to upgrade my PS4 in general. But uh, that might be a reason for me at some point to finally pull the trigger and get that game. So uh, we'll see what happens, but I just wanted to just sort of, you know, share my very brief thoughts on this and uh, 
game on. Game on, game on. Uh, have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you around. Bye.